Hey guys, this is the Coin Slaver. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And man, what an awesome weekend. Went to a nice coin show in Gallatin, Tennessee. Uh, got some cool stuff. Uh, we'll talk about it when we get back. Um, got some good words from a good dealer down there. We'll talk about this coin. A lot of stuff to go over. So we'll be right back. So first off, let's talk about this eagle. And yes, once again, when we get to 500 subscribers, we're giving this eagle away. Uh, 2001 eagle, uncirculated details, and it's stained. And this is the coin that we did use acetone to clean the paint painted surface off. And um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. When we get to 500, we're giving this away. So that's coming up. But let's talk about what we got at this coin show. And this was a good show. It's uh, Galton is a little show, but it's a uh, uh, a lot of good dealers and um, just a lot of nice people is a good way to put it. But let's start off, and this is a coin that I have been looking for for a while. But I picked this up, 1875 Carson City, 20 cent piece. Um, bought this from a dealer named Matt. Very nice guy. He had some words for a new collector, and, and let's see what he had to say. All right, so I'm here with Matt, and just bought this sweet 20 cent Carson City, 1875, and F12, a very nice coin. And we'll talk about this again in a little bit. But uh, Matt, tell me your name and uh, what uh, information or suggestions would you give for a new collector? For somebody just starting out, the best advice I could give them is uh, don't rush into any big expenses. If I was, uh, if I had it to do over, I wish somebody would have put probably one of these books right here in front of me I type set and uh, and that way you know you put together one of uh, every every coin the United States has ever put out you know all, all different kinds of half cents large cents small cents three cent pieces but what that does is you search to fill each hole it uh, you know and you get done with this thing and you can decide what series interested you the most and, and then go back, maybe try to put that, that book together. It would be, uh, instead of jumping all around and trying to put a dime set together, a quarter set and a Kennedy half and a, you know, jumping all over the place. And then you just got a hodgepodge of, you know, that's nothing's complete. But that'd it. probably be uh, what I would tell a new collector. Uh, find somebody trustworthy to deal with. Good deal. Well, sir, I appreciate it. Yes. And where's your next show you're going to be at? My next show is in Columbus, Ohio, All next right. Sunday. All right, so uh, check him out. 
then I'll be in Cincinnati, Ohio, on uh, New Year's Eve, last day of this month, Green Hills. Good day. Good day. Well, sir, thank you. Appreciate it. Good talking to you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. But once again, Matt, um, very nice meeting you. And he gave me an awesome deal on this 1875 Carson City 20 cent piece. Uh, Great in an F12. And this thing sheets for about 340 uh, gray sheet. And I uh, got it for 300 bucks. I mean, just uh, give me a killer deal on it. I was looking for one in a better shape. I was looking for an XF or an AU. But uh, when he shot me a good price on this one, I could not pass it up. But as you know, the Carson City 20 cent pieces, they were made for two years, 1875. They've made a few in 1876. Most of them got melted. They are impossible to find and unaffordable if you do. But uh, these are very nice pieces. These are rare coins. Like I said, basically made them one year uh, that you can still find with just an awesome coin. Now, I've been looking for one of these for a while. And like I said, I'd like to pick up another one and either an XF or an AU, but uh, this is my first one and what an awesome piece. So next up, uh, silver for the most part was going for about 26 an ounce from what I've seen. Uh, I picked this bar up and this is the last piece I bought a silver town and bought it for 250. Of course, buying it a show, there's no tax, no shipping. So uh, spot was 23 and some change when I went. So, good price on that Silvertown bar. Another slab that I bought is this Kentucky Innovation Series dollar. And nothing spectacular, but uh, this is a sample slab. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. But a sample slab from a show in Pennsylvania. Just pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like I said, this is not graded. And these sample slabs, sometimes they can they can get a good premium on them. Sometimes they don't. But State of Kentucky, 30 bucks. I had to pick this one up. So here's a few sets I picked up. And this is a 1972 uncirculated set. I uh, didn't really need this one. It was worth the money. I did need this 1970 proof set for my proof um, set that I'm putting together. But nevertheless, kind of made a deal on all of them. And that's spectacular. These are pretty common. And here's a 70 proof set. Once again, this is nothing spectacular, but no means. But I did need it for my proof set that I'm putting together. And we'll get there one of those years. It's not high on priority by no means. And kind of in the deal was this um, 99 Denver Mint State Quarter. I didn't need this one at all. I think I've got a couple, but uh, it was worth the money. And we kind of worked the deal on all of them. So I think I give $20 on all three sets, which is not a bad deal. However, this one here, I give more than $20 for. And as you can tell by the box already, yes, it is a GSA, Carson City, Silver Dollar, Morgan. Uh, it did come with the COAs. And this is not the uncirculated. And this is kind of one of the reasons I bought this. I um, bought this from some guys, J&J &J Coins. And they are from around Bowling Green, Kentucky. And I'll try to post their card up, a picture of it. Um, talked to these gentlemen for, well, I talked to Josh for a few minutes. And uh, very nice guy. We made a deal on this coin. I get $320 for this Carson City Morgan. And this thing is in awesome shape. It's got some toning up in here. Uh, we kind of discussed it and agreed that that's the reason it didn't get the uncirculated GSA slab. But uh, this is a very nice coin in very good shape. Very little marking. Um, the camera actually kind of magnifies what few marks are on her cheek. This one will probably get set off the next bunch we seem to get graded. Uh, if it hits a 64, you know, it makes it a, probably a $400 coin. Gets a 64 plus, that takes it on up. So, like I'm 320 in right now in it. And, um, just a very nice coin. It come with a box and it come with a COA. But just a very nice coin. 
So there we go, folks. Um, awesome coin show. Picked up some cool pieces. This, like I said, is my favorite. It's my first 20 cent piece. And hopefully the first of many. I'm definitely going to look for a few more of these. Uh, we'll give a shout out to uh, Josh with JJ Coins. Give a shout out to Matt. If you see him at a coin show, stop, say hello. Uh, tell him you've seen him on Coin Slaver's channel. And uh, yeah, these guys do you right. Awesome show. So thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, when we get to 500, we're giving a Silver Eagle away. Until next time, don't be afraid to buy the slap.